Hey, what's up guys? Rob here from Movie Review Time and I'm back with a brand new video. Kind of late on this one. I'm going to be doing another Revisiting 5 Horror Films, which is a weekly series. And uh, I know it's the middle of the week right now, but usually I try to get these videos out on Sunday or Monday. Um, so yeah, I'm kind of falling behind. But yeah, basically I go through my collection and I pick out 5 horror films that... You know, I haven't seen in a while, or years, or months, or days, or whatever, um, and I want to revisit them, and eventually review them. So, went through my collection and picked out five, and I'm going to show you what I picked. The very first one that I'm going to revisit is a John Borman film, and this movie takes place four years after the events of the first movie. And the first movie is a classic. Some people consider it the best horror film ever made or even the scariest horror film ever made. And it is Exorcist 2: The Heretic with Linda Blair returning. To be honest, um, I haven't seen this movie for a long time. It's been years. And uh, I just remember when I first saw this, I was very bored. Um, I did not like it at all. Um, and I've only seen this probably twice in my life. Uh, so I thought it would actually be, you know, the right time to revisit it and, you know, see if my feelings have changed on it. I like The Exorcist 3. I think The Exorcist 3 is very under criminally underrated, to be honest. But yeah, I just remember not liking this one too much. But I am going to give it another shot. So that is the first one that I'm going to revisit, Exorcist II, The Heretic. Now, the next one is a movie that I remember liking, and I definitely haven't seen this in years. And I believe this is a remake. This is 2007 with uh, Naomi Watts. You got um, Tim Roth. Um, and it is Funny Games, basically about these two boys who enter this house. It's, it's, it's like a home invasion film. Uh, I have not seen the original, but they go in this house and they basically take this family hostage and force them to play different kinds of games that they come up with. Um... <clears throat> I don't know what it is about this film. I remember liking the cinematography. I remember liking the the, the steady shots and the, the smooth transitions and the stuff that would happen. Um, and I thought all the actors and actresses did a fantastic job. I'm a fan of Tim Roth. Um, I do like him. But it's been a while since I've seen this. So this is one that I definitely wanted to revisit. I think I remember watching this and not liking the ending. Um, I don't know. I, I just can't remember really how the ending happened. But I, I thought when I first saw this, I just didn't like the ending. I don't know. Um, but anyway, yeah, that's the next one that I'm going to revisit. Funny Games. <clears throat> Here's one that I definitely haven't seen in a long time. Uh, directed by Scott Reynolds. And... Um, <clears throat> You know, this, how I found out about this movie was on that Boogeyman DVD, uh, where it has a compilation of all these movie killers, and, you know, Jason, Michael Myers, and Freddy, and this movie actually popped up um, on that DVD. Now, it's, you know, it's with the character, it's a psychological horror film, but it deals with a character named Simon. And it is the ugly. It gets harder and harder. Like, I just I just remember certain things about the film, but as a whole, I don't remember too much. I I think I've only seen this movie once in my life, but I do remember liking it. Like I said, how I first got introduced to this was on that Boogeyman DVD. So, I think it's where he sees he sees thing or like he sees dead people and they tell him to do stuff um yeah but anyway the ugly is definitely one that i'm going to revisit and like i said um after watching these i'm definitely going to review them eventually 
Now here's one that um, I remember liking to a certain extent. There were there were a lot of things that bothered me about it, but I definitely want to revisit it just to see if my mind has changed on certain things. And it's uh, directed by the Vicious Brothers, and it is Grave Encounters. Now I know they have a sequel, but this is basically this this movie reminds me of like Ghost Adventures or Ghost Hunters, where these guys go into this asylum, a psychiatric hospital that's abandoned, and they start seeing things in their film in and. Um, um, you know they're doing tests and stuff like that there were certain things they did like with the effects and all that that were fantastic there were there were, you know i just remember certain scenes that they have to do with like a ghost or something like they you know it was really cool the way they did it but then there were other things that you know this guy goes flying and like it, you could tell it was cg and it just looked terrible it looked it looked horrible um that's some things that I can remember about this movie, but really as a whole, I just don't remember a lot about it. Um, as far as who the characters are, like what their names are, and like, you know, the situation that they're in. So this is definitely one I wanted to revisit. Now the last one is a movie that you probably never have heard of, and I definitely recommend this film, and it's been years, <clears throat> since I seen this and I remember going to family video and this was on the shelf and they only had one copy and uh, it's by Dimension Extreme one of those and it is called Welcome to the Jungle now this is not the Van Damme film not the one where Van Damme's like this on the cover um, this is basically like a cannibal this is like a modern day cannibal holocaust I mean it, it there are certain things that happen in this movie that pay homage to a cannibal holocaust like certain death scenes but it's basically about these two couples go i think they're they go to new guinea uh to find evidence that michael rockefeller disappeared because in 1961 michael rockefeller who was like the most powerful man in the world went missing on an expedition and so these these two couples go there to try to find evidence that he's been that, like people have stated that they've seen him living with the tribes people and so they go down there to prove it and so they're filming everything they run into trouble they run into cannibals and all that stuff and and then just shit just goes haywire i mean i actually think this movie was entertaining and it was intense and there were a lot of cool cool scenes like i said it's a modern day cannibal holocaust they they had there's certain things that they do in this movie where you're like that is from Cannibal Holocaust. Um, I really enjoyed this one. This was kind of, it's kind of a rare film. It's independent. Um, it's an independent horror film, and I, I actually found the DVD. I believe I found this on Amazon. <clears throat> but I like these Dimension Extreme ones. They kind of go far with the gore and um, the blood and stuff like that. So I really like those. Not really a well-known cast, but it's definitely a movie to check out, and I definitely cannot wait to revisit this, because like I said, I haven't seen it in a while, but I do remember a lot about this one. So, it says from the producer of The Terminator and Aliens. So, it's got some special features there too, but anyway, yeah, this is the uh, last movie that I'm going to be revisiting. Really quick, just a quick recap. Exorcist to the Heretic, we have... Funny Games, The Ugly, Grave Encounters, and Welcome to the Jungle. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like I said, this is a weekly series, and I try to keep it a weekly series even if I'm far behind, but I hope you guys enjoy this. And like I said, eventually I'll be reviewing these movies. So, um... Just want to make note of this coming up really soon i'm going to be doing a karate kid marathon i'm going to be reviewing all the karate kid films i'm going to be reviewing cobra kai season one just to prepare for season two i saw the trailer for cobra kai season two and i am blown away i so much came flooding back i just cannot believe how good that show is that show is amazing. I'm a huge Karate Kid fan. I mean, I have the huge poster. I have them on VHS and DVD and, and Blu-ray. 
I love the Karate Kid, but I have something kind of special planned for it. So, um, I hope you guys will uh, stay tuned for that. Also, I have a huge Blu-ray DVD update coming up, and I probably won't get that out until like maybe Monday of next week. So, because I ordered some things that have to still get here. So, um, yeah, stay tuned for that and uh, more list videos and things. So I hope you've been enjoying my channel. Thank you very much for subscribing, for, uh, you know, uh, liking the videos, sharing them, commenting, all the kind words you guys say. And it's, it's uh, very humbling and, you know, I'm going to keep going with this. I'm really glad you guys are enjoying my content. So um, this is Rob signing off, and I will see you guys in the next one.